Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you an interesting method of producing hydrogen sulfide gas from elemental sulfur. Before I get started, I'm just going to quickly mention that hydrogen sulfide is quite toxic. So do this in a well ventilated area, ideally a fume hood. The common methods include dripping HCl on purchased iron sulfide powder or self-made aluminum sulfide. Extractions and IR has shown a method which uses paraffin wax to reduce the sulfur. This is however a quite messy process. His main goal was to get a reaction that can be stopped and restarted later. As you will see, my method is also capable of doing this, because both reagents are liquids and instantly react. To get started, I prepared a solution of sodium polysulfide. In theory any polysulfide can be used. Depending on whether sodium hydroxide or sulfur is more valuable to you, the mass ratio can range anywhere from one part sodium hydroxide to 0.8 up to two parts of sulfur. If the ratio is lower, you will use more sodium hydroxide than theoretically needed. But you will have less chance of building longer polysulfide chains, which may precipitate later and be difficult to clean. In the video I used a ratio of about 1.7. Some polysulfide chains were formed at the end, but it was still quite easy to clean. After dissolving the sodium hydroxide, I added the sulfur and left it stirring under heat for about 30 minutes. As you can see, the color changed to a dark red and the liquid should become crystal clear. The last few flakes of sulfur were filtered out and the solution was ready. The amount of water used also isn't too critical, but keep in mind that upon cooling you may crystallize the polysulfides out if the solution is too concentrated. Now for the actual production of hydrogen sulfide, I assembled this apparatus, using a two-neck round bottom flask, but a Claisen adapter is also a good option. Apart from that, it consists of a pressure equalized addition funnel, which in my case needed an expander piece to fit the joints together. And of course, a gas outlet adapter. In theory, this can also be mounted on top of the addition funnel and used with a single neck flask. Now I filled the flask with hydrochloric acid and put the polysulfide solution in the addition funnel. This way, once you're done and some is left, it can simply go back to storage without being contaminated with anything. Upon addition to the HCl, hydrogen sulfide was evolved and the bleach solution in which the gas was let quickly turned opaque, due to the oxidation back to elemental sulfur. I can also test for its presence with some lead acetate paper, which as you can see quickly turns black. This process is very easy to control, because the liquids react instantly. However, it isn't the most efficient, since some elemental sulfur is also produced in the reaction. Keeping the ratio of sulfur small reduces this byproduct, but more HCl is needed to neutralize the hydroxide. So depending on what is more important in your circumstance, just change the ratio accordingly. The solution is also quite stable in storage. The higher the sodium hydroxide concentration, the less hydrogen sulfide is evolved. To prevent the formation of long sulfur polymers, it should be somewhat protected from light. That's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching.